Girl, you look good once you back that ass up. You find fine mother once you back that ass up. All right, this is James. We'll just say James's uh, K5 Blazer project. It was a four-wheel drive. It's now a two-wheel drive. Um, kind of got with Porter built on this one to do a drop member kit for the front. Um, James was originally supposed to do this stuff himself in his garage, and he's a friend of mine, so he was asking me for advice, and it turned into, why don't you just do it for me? So I brought the truck down here as an already taken apart project. Got the drop member in place. James had it kind of there where it needed to be, but we finished mounting it. And then we did the rear setup as well. The rear's a, basically a back half, um, or notch back, whatever you want to call it, that Porter built, built for us. Um, it drops the rear of the frame to allow the truck to be body dropped. So we built new body mounts for the cab, basically the front, the middle portion of the cab. So what we ended up with was Porter built front and rear drop members on a body dropped K5 that lays the pinch point right on the ground. So the truck also had a bunch of rust. Um, James was kind of adamant on leaving the outside of the truck alone, but with as much rust as it had, there was no chance of that happening. So behind me, we have the body that just got back from AZ Pro Strip where it got sandblasted and epoxy primer powder coated. Basically what we're gonna do now is we've got the engine and transmission set in, we've got the All-American Bullet all American billet pulley set up on it, and the Holly low rise intake manifold. We've got a 4L60 behind it. This is a 525 horsepower LS3 from GM Performance. 24 inch by 10 inch intro raiders on the rear. We've got 22 by eight and a half inch intro on the front. So we're gonna roll this under there and set the body back on it and continue with mock up. So we just set the body on the chassis and we haven't put any of the bolts in yet. We lined up the rear, but all these go in from underneath. So we're gonna lift the truck up by the chassis, move it around, square it up, and put the cab bolts in. We're here to discuss the exhaust tips that we're running on the truck. We're thinking about going with these bad bow tie ones. <laughs> James is one of our one of our more serious customers. Very. So he's very difficult to work for. It's a serious problem. This is James. This is his blazer. He doesn't want turn downs. Don't want turn downs. Straight. So we're discussing where the exhaust should go. Not that way. That way. It'll be tight. Good. It already is tight because there's no damn room underneath there. There is no room under there. Okay. Could you get a close up on where they scratch my band um, so I can deduct that? <laughs> what do you think for like coming out? If it comes out on the ends, of, I don't care if it comes out the whatever, dude. Either way, I don't care if it comes out there or the exhaust okay. or, or the. This is the coolest ride you've ever had in your shop, so it's gonna look cool no matter what. So go fund me at I Candy, what? I Franco, I Franco's candy shop of paint or something so we can get this bitch painted. All right, we got the exhaust done uh, from the headers back to the rear frame section. Uh, James came over, so we kind of discussed a few things as far as uh, where we're gonna exit. So we're waiting on the rear bumper so we can finish the tail section of it. Um, but yeah, now we're just gonna finish welding it and bolt it back up. I told Jeremy, I just wish I would have came here when he made less money. He wasn't doing all that. Time.